Enough information went out about not transporting firewood, and that's why it's so widespread. Transporting firewood is fine within 20 miles or something like that, or not? Well, you know, that's, they, they put an arbitrary thing of 50 miles on it uh, for the state regulations recently just because they couldn't say don't transport it at all, which would be the ideal. Mm -hmm. uh, what about lumber? Pardon? What about lumber? The emerald ash borer grows in the bark, uh -huh. and lumber does usually not contain mm -hmm. bark. Um, unfortunately, the lumber that came over from China, having the Senate to begin with, did have bark on it. Mm -hmm. That's how the field was established. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes? My husband and I worked on Asian longhorn beetle uh -huh. in uh, Long Island and Manhattan, Queens, Brooklyn. And, uh, That's that Anybody is wants scary. to see what it looks like. You want to pass it around? It's up to you. I want oh, sure. Yeah, pass it around. Sure, <laughs> great. Yeah. I, 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 I also have these candy okay. cards here if you want to pick oh. some up. Pass them around. It's an Asian longhorn beetle identification card. Mm -hmm. You can carry it with you. Mm -hmm. If you see something like this, you go, oh, what is this? It's the <laughs> right side. Yeah. How, how close is that? In which direction is it? Uh, they recently, they were just detected just south of State College, Pennsylvania. That is the closest that it is right now. Out. It goes wherever the firewood goes. Mm -hmm. And indeed, the, Emerald, the Asian longhorn beetle, that is the big bad beast. I mean, it goes after the maples. And uh, I was actually in Worcester looking at this thing, and I was sitting there talking to a landowner in his front yard, and out of my corner of my eye, I caught this pickup truck going by, loaded with firewood. Mm -hmm. Who knows where it was going? Mm -hmm. Who knows where that infestation is going? That, that is the scariest thing, thing is that you know, I've got this big thing. And indeed, to even illustrate how mm -hmm. stupid this thing gets, they trained all the professional arborists that are working in Worcester. They sat, sat them down in a room and said, OK, this is what you're going to do. You're not going to transport any, any material out. You're, you're, you know, so you're going to bring it to the marshaling yard. We're going to take care of it. And just a couple, of, a couple months ago, they actually busted two of those arborists for taking lumber outside of the, you know, the quarantine area. Mm -hmm. It's like, what, if you can't train the professionals, mm -hmm. what are you going to do? I mean, it's, it's, it's really silly. It just points out the fact that marketing is the most important thing. Edit, education. Marketing, you've got to get the word out, and that's why I feel so happy to see all of you here today. This is really an important step forward. Yes? There's a big, I'm part of the um, <coughs> Catskill Regional Invasive Species Partnership. Oh, great. And uh, the last meeting that we had actually talked quite a lot about um, the Asian longhorn beetle. And they're the DEC and a number of other people who are involved with, with forestry are going to be doing surveys, especially in the, in the campgrounds and near campgrounds, mm -hmm. because they found that I think it was 143 people who live in Worcester came to New York State campgrounds. Mm -hmm. And yeah. some of them brought firewood. That was a brilliant bit so, of detective work. Yeah. <laughs> I, really, I really like that. They actually looked through the records and, see, and looked at the reservations that they got in the campgrounds. So they actually know which campgrounds they went to. Right. Um, yeah. And that's. That'd be great, but who knows where that guy was going that I saw that truck was <laughs> But anyway, um, yeah, the, the Asian longhorn beetle is a scary, scary, scary thing. And not only that, he likes beaches and birches oh, and wow. basswood. Oh, and it's like the whole strain. But you know what? Then, then, that's, then there's other things. I mean, really what we have to do is we need to take a long-term approach to this. We need to go to the areas where these bugs are coming from. We need to look at everything that's being brought into the United States. We need to be make people that are importing the, this material <coughs> aware of their responsibility to everyone else mm -hmm. to be careful that they destroy all wood packing material. I mean, where, who's, I mean, it's like everybody's just passing the buck right now. It comes in because there are actually, there are, they are, do encourage the destruction of wood packing material, but nobody pays attention to that. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and so, like, it's, it's crazy. <coughs> These people that are bringing in cheap China, Chinese products are just hoisting this incredible, multi -billion, potentially multi-billion dollar cost upon everybody else to control the bugs that they brought in. Mm -hmm. uh, the Asian longhorn beetle, I mean, the estimates of the economic impact are absolutely staggering. They're just starting to do it right now, and it's in the billions of dollars. They're talking about $10 billion. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't have anything back. And how can you quantify the cultural aspect of losing maple syrup and the beautiful leaves in the winter and in the fall? It's like, you just can't do that. So anyway, blah, 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 I'll get off my pulpit. Are there any more questions? <laughs> no more questions. That's great. We should go outside.